All right, I'm going fishing today, guys. But first, I need some Casey's pizza. Yeah, that looks good. So again, back-to-back -back vlogs eating Casey's pizza. It's amazing. It's 5.11 p.m. Normally you guys see me go fishing in the morning. I'm getting a late start today because I spent seven hours doing accounting homework this morning. I am in college, which takes a lot of time out of my day to go fishing, but it's a perfect day to go pond fishing. Throw some top water, throw some jigs, senkos, all that fun stuff, and hopefully catch a giant. So I actually just got to the house of a subscriber of mine. His name's Peter. He's gonna take me to a pond that he knows about. Peter says there's gonna be good fish in there. Hopefully he doesn't do what Alec did and told me the spot is fire. Is it fire? It's a fire spot. And then it turned out to, to suck. This pond sucks. All right, let's go fishing. That right there is the pond. It's a small pond that sub right there's Peter. Peter's here. Peter's shown, he's a subscriber of mine, shown me this pond. Says there's giant fish. You ready to catch some fish? I'm definitely ready to catch some fish. All right, let's do it. So it looks like it's gonna rain here. I don't know how hard, but it might get interesting. So I got a uh, new sponsor, Umbrella Hat. You guys can uh, check them out, the link down below. So uh, protects yourself from all the rain. You can wear your GoPro and it's never gonna get wet. It also looks pretty cool, so if you're trying to like get with any girls at school or anything at work or anything like that, like this is definitely the way to do it. Go with a frog, with a wacky rig Senko, maybe a buzz bait, maybe a little flipping bait, maybe a top water walking bait, and a square bill. I think that's enough to fish a pond. What are you gonna start out with? I don't know, probably his first bait square bill. You're gonna start with a square bill? Yep. I, I brought I brought a square bill. I haven't thrown that yet, so I might actually do that. All right, so the first spot that I'm gonna go, gonna start at, I guess, is some fallen down trees, looks like. Looks like a recently fallen in because they still got some green leaves on them. They're right over there. So I'm gonna flip a little creature bait, black and blue creature bait in there and see if they'll bite. No luck flipping the creature bait. Try a square bill. I feel like I haven't thrown a square bill in months. Probably since I haven't been on a boat. I used to throw them all the time when I go fishing on a boat, but I haven't done that in quite a while, so. Let's see. Oh, there's one. Oh, got him. Look at that little buddy. He, he smoked that thing right by the rocks. He must be holding tight to tight to the, the rocks here. Real shallow. Got it. All right, I'm gonna let this little bugger go. Walk down here without falling. Don't pull like an AP here. See you later, Guadalupe. All right, well, we got one bass. Well, that only took four minutes, so it's a good sign. I'd definitely like to see something larger come through here, but Peter says there's some giants. I believe him. I definitely believe him. We might just have to weed through a couple dinks to, to get there. It does feel good to catch a square bill fish, for sure. I like catching fish on crankbaits. Ooh. See the, oh, crap. I let go of the handle. Oh he's, oh, he's there. He's there. He's there. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's a good fish. Oh. I got another one. Oh, it's a giant! <laughs> I gotta, gotta get it down here somehow. Don't, don't throw it, don't throw it. Don't throw it. That's how you want them to uh, eat your crankbait right there. So there's the second fish. Eh, easily two and a half, dude. That, that's a heavy, heavy fish. Not a bad guy right there. You get a, get a nice release on him. Not gonna weigh him. Like I said, he's. He's over two for sure, so that's a good fish in my book any day. See you later, Greg. Two fish, two cast on the square bill. Woo! All right, so I think I found the bait that they like. We'll see uh, if I can catch one more, and if I do, I'm gonna switch it up. 
try something else but that's a really good sign two fish and two casts of that square square bull crank oh there you go peter got one a little guy this spot looks pretty legit it's a nice lay down tree here flip a little beaver in there and see what happens doesn't seem like they want this flipping bait i thought that for sure they would it's kind of calm you'd think they'd kind of tucked up in trees or something but so far all they want is that little square bull crank there's one. Oh, is he still there uh oh uh oh biggest one of the day uh oh we got it we got a toad we got a toad that's hands down my pb like no doubt i don't even need to weigh it it's my pb like by a couple pounds see you later hercules you haven't signed your cast yeah i can sign it oh sure <laughs> there you go thanks mm -hmm. cool oh oh he's there oh he's there oh it's a, a nine pounder easily maybe ten might need a scale. I don't know if my scale will uh, weigh fish this big. I might need to go get a new one. They might need a new one. Check it out. Oh. Lati da. Catching toads on the Senko. Wacky rig Senko. See, you guys, someone was complaining because all I catch fish on are frogs and Senkos. Well, that, I normally throw Texas rig Senkos. I threw a wacky rig Senko for like the first time in a couple months. And bam, caught a new PB. See you later, Ricardo. So I came up with a game plan on how I'm gonna fish this pond tonight. I'm gonna fish weightless wacky rig Senkos, square bills, and chatterbaits for like the next hour. And I'm gonna walk around the pond, just fish those. If I don't get anything there, I'm gonna pick up a buzz bait. And I'm gonna do one lap of the buzz bait, then I'm gonna pick up a popper, do one lap of the popper. Another thing with that, I'm gonna pick up a frog and do one lap of the frog. By that time, it should be dark. So if I don't catch any fish doing that, well, you'll see a fan mail unboxing. All right, it's buzz bait time. This is a great way to fish and to cover water rather quickly. Just grab a buzz bait, go parallel the banks. It'll, you'll catch any, any active or feeding bass pretty much. At least you'll get them to strike at it. You may not hook them, but at least you'll kind of locate the fish this way. And also if you're into tournaments, this is what I used to do when I fished tournaments in high school. I would not from the bank obviously but from a boat I'd pick up a buzz bait because a lot of times you'd miss fish so if you're pre-fishing especially you can cut off the hook on a buzz bait and uh, throw it around and the they'll, they'll fish will explode on you normally the buzz bait you can tell how big they are uh, by their explosion they tend to show themselves quite easily so if you are pre-fishing for a tournament grab a buzz bait that you don't mind ruining cut the hook off don't put a trailer hook on or anything and just go burn it through the bank down the bank and everything like that and uh, that's an easy way to locate fish. Oh gosh, there's one. Oh gosh, I don't know what that is. I think it might be a catfish. Well, if it's a bass, it's a good sized one. It's coming right at me. Oh, it's a big bass. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was a f probably a five pound bass. Oh, it's a big bass. Wow. Whew. That sucks. Gosh, that really, really sucks. Oh my lord. That was a five pound bass. Sick. I love when that happens. Love when that happens. All right. Guess Peter was right. There's freaking toads in here. Just leave it to me to lose it. The, probably the one giant fish that's in this pond I just freaking lost. Gotta stay positive though. Don't get too negative. I know it sucks losing fish. Like that fish totally would have made this video way better. But there's probably more. Just gotta have faith. Don't lose another one. All right, guys. So I did one circuit with the old black buzz bait, and I lost like a four or five pound bass. That's actually the opposite of what I wanted to happen. But the good news is I know now I know this pond has big fish. Two, I know the big fish are biting. Three, there's got to be more like it. So I'm going to pick up the popper. As hard as it is to put that on that buzzbait, I'm going to pick up a popper, do the same thing, make one lap, 
And instead of picking up that frog, if, the, if I don't get bit on that, I'm gonna pick that buzzbait back up since I know that at least one big fish is interested in that. That probably means more are. So, popper time, then buzzbait time, then bed time. Let's do it. All right, let's see if they like this little popper. Something a little slower. Gives them a little more time to eat it. Oh, this, this looks dirty, definitely. A few moments later. Well, they don't really seem to be liking this top water very much. This is where uh, Big Bertha hit. I'm doubtful that she's already back, but we'll see if she wants the popper. Hopefully it doesn't come off. What's up? Do you gotta go? Okay. So, 7.21, you can come in here. That dude right there, he's gotta go home. So we're gonna end the fishing part here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of this video. I'm either gonna go over my tactics and kind of teach you a little bit, or I'm gonna do fame unboxing, or I'm gonna go to Jimmy John's, or yeah, yeah, that's, that's about all I got. The next day. Well, it's the next day. I know I said I was gonna either go to Jimmy John's. Well, I didn't do that. Fan mail unboxing, I didn't pick up any fan mail. Or teach you guys what I was doing today. But then I just like finished up editing this video and realized I basically taught you guys as I was fishing. So if you like that style of me like fishing and talking versus me just like talking for five minutes at the end of every video, then let me know down below because honestly, well, me watching it, I liked it. I liked like learning as I was fishing instead of me just sitting here talking for five minutes straight. So if you guys like that better, let me down, let me know down below in the comments section. But if you guys are like wondering exactly what I was doing, the square bill, I was chucking and winding it, um, just like you do, you know, just kind of bouncing it off the bottom. The buzz bait, like you saw, is paralleling the banks, just kind of running around. And then the wacky rig Senko, all you have to do is you throw it out there and you let it sink down to the bottom, and then you twitch it a few times, and let it sink back down. If you guys want to know the gear that I was using, I'm not going to go over it. Just check down below. This video is plenty long. I'm not going to sit here and talk for five minutes going over my rod, reel, line, that type of stuff. Just go check the links down below of all the information you'll ever need. You guys probably saw me using a different rod than I normally use, and like I said, and one of the previous videos is I will be testing out different rods and reels. And I'm trying to expand my arsenal as far as rods and reels um, for the next couple weeks. And the reason behind that is, like I said, I want to kind of broaden, I don't know if that's the right word, expand. That's the right word. I want to expand my knowledge on fishing products because I was kind of like stuck in this rut of using a certain brand of rods and certain brand of reels for like the last year. And whenever you guys would ask me questions about like, stuff that was less expensive than what I use, I really couldn't get a good answer. So I'm using some lower end rods and reels just to kind of get a feel for what I like. And then that way, if you guys are looking for a rod that's only 50 bucks, I can actually recommend you something that I have used and that I that I like. So that's kind of why I'm doing that. I'm sure I'm sure you guys are kind of wondering why I'm using some different reels and different rods in the last couple videos. And I'm gonna get like I said, I'm gonna continue to do that until I can find some good rods and some good reels that are below $100. And then once that happens, I'm gonna stick with those guys. And then that way I've got some rods and reels to recommend that are below 100 bucks, and I've got rods and reels to recommend that are above 100 bucks. Hopefully that makes sense. Overall, I had a great time fishing. Make sure you go subscribe to Peter. I'll link his channel down below and I'll link the video that he made with me from today uh, down below as well. Go check him out. He's an awesome dude. He's like, he reminds me so much of me when I was younger. He's like 15 or 16 and he's just got like, the itch to go fishing like it's it's exactly like I was he's just like he's so into fishing he doesn't even want to work he doesn't want to go to school literally all he wants to do is fish and that was totally me like a couple years ago so he's definitely gonna be an up and comer so make sure you uh, go subscribe to his channel if you enjoyed the pond fishing please leave a thumbs up I'm going to Texas next week with the Guggen squad so look forward to those videos if you guys have any video suggestions just on in general you let me down let me know down below in the comment section but i'm not going to keep you guys any longer thank you so much for watching and do me a favor go catch a giant solid cast right there <laughs>